Good morning everyone, it is Friday and I've got a few bits and pieces to do today. I have a photo shoot next week which I'm so excited for and I'll tell you more about it in a minute. But I'm going to go and get my nails done which I never ever do because I just pick them off and I don't know if you can see but I bite my nails to the absolute extreme but I want them to look nice in these photos so I'm going to go get my nails done this morning and then I'm going to get my eyebrows done I was meant to have them laminated um, the day after my surgery but obviously I had to cancel it and they are well overdue I don't, I don't pluck them in between sessions because I'll ruin them and then my friend Jess is having a baby soon so I've got her oh you've got an eyelash come here do you know, have you ever made a wish with an eyelash? No. If I hold it like this yeah. and you blow it, if you make a wish at the same time in your head, it will come true. Okay, so think of a wish. What do you think of a really good wish? Um, maybe, I know, why don't you wish that you can have that chocolate bar that's in the cupboard? Because you didn't get to have it yesterday because you were a bit cheeky, weren't you? I think... I, when I go in water, I get to have a magic necklace so I can, when I go in sea, I can weave under water and I can turn into a mermaid. You want the necklace, like from the Barbie movie, to turn into a mermaid. Okay, right, so what you have to do yeah. is blow this little eyelash off my finger and make that wish in your head, okay? One. Oh, I don't know I can do it. Oh, yeah, you can because you've already said it out loud. Okay. Ready? Oh, oh, you don't have to get upset, my love. It's fun. Should I make a wish instead? I want you to make my Should I make wish. your wish? You don't need to get upset. Were you just a bit nervous? Nervous. Nervous about what? Your wish not coming true? Yeah. <gasps> I think it will. The eyelash is like the most magical thing. Okay. Right, shall I do it? Yeah. Are you going to blow with me? <gasps> I make the wish. Okay, I made it. Mm. I hope it comes true next time you're in water. Yeah. Do you? Bless her, she's such a sensitive little thing. She gets so upset about the tiniest things. Um, but what I was saying is my friend Jess is having a baby. She's due next week, I think. And I've got her, like, a bunch of stuff down here that we found helpful um, with both Daisy and Hudson. And I thought I'd send her, like, a little care package of, like, things that were so helpful. So I'm going to get some wrapping paper for that today, too, and try and send that off. I'm hoping it gets there before the baby arrives, but I don't know how long postage takes to get to Australia, so fingers crossed it gets there, but I'm not sure if it will. But something else really, really, really exciting is happening today, and I think it's about to arrive in like 10 minutes. I'm going to prop you down so that I can chat to you properly, but we have a very, very exciting delivery that Daisy's going to be very happy about. So for probably the past six months Daisy's been asking for a bike because she wants to learn how to ride a bike because her cousin Arabella has learned and whatever Arabella learns Daisy wants to learn. So she's been asking for a bike but bikes are quite expensive and we've just been like putting it off not because we don't want to get her one but just because they are quite expensive and also she's had a balance bike for years and she's never been able to do it she just can't figure it out so I just wasn't really sure if it would be something that she liked or if it would just be something that made her really cross but I found a solution because there's a company called bike club which is a bike subscription service so basically you don't have to buy the bike and you just pay monthly and they will send you a bike and you can use it for as many months as you want and then when your child grows out of it you can send it back and you can get it replaced with a bigger one to fit their size. I just thought it was a really good idea because they only stock bikes that are really high quality and made to last. I also think it's a really good idea because it taps into the circular economy so that there's less waste. And they have a bunch of different bikes. They've got um, balance bikes, they've got first pedal bikes, then they go up to hybrid and road and mountain bikes too. I think the range goes from zero to 14 years old. So there's a huge, huge selection on there. The good thing is it's really not expensive per month. I think the one I got was about £9 a month. I've got some stabilizers for her too so that we can um, ease into it because like I said she hasn't 
figured out the balance on the balance bike yet. So I think I'm going to put the stabilizers on first and then get her used to it and pedaling and then we'll ease into taking the stabilizers off. So that's just about to arrive. I've told Daisy that I've got a surprise for her and I told her that it has to stay in the shed so she's <laughs> she's quite confused about what it is and she keeps asking me what what fun things would stay in the shed. Oh, another thing is that you can choose between ordering a new bike or a refurbished bike. And I think the refurbished bikes are less per month. But I'm pretty sure the price range per month is between £5 and £15. So it's not huge. And it just means that you're not having to spend a massive amount on a kid's bike that will only fit them for a period of time. But I'll make sure I link them in the description in case you guys want to check them out. I think it's a really good idea. Here it is. We've got pedals and stuff that I need to put on in a minute, but I'm gonna cool Daisy down so that she can see it. Hudson's very interested and has decided that it's his. <laughs> Shall we cool Daisy down, Hud? Yeah, Daisy! Daisy! Your own bicycle. Yeah, and it's pink. Do you like the colour? Yeah. Do you like it? I thought you'd like it. <laughs> Do you like it? Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> You've been wanting a bike. What's this? Uh, just part of the, like, how it's made. So when you come back from school days, yeah. I'll have the pedals on and I'll have this to your height and then shall we go and see if we can ride it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hattie likes it too. Hattie can come with us. Okay. Because I have, we, remember we have a little Elsa bike? Yeah, a balance bike. Yeah, and Hattie can ride on that. <gasps> You're going to well, let him use your one. Elsa bike? Well, my one. Where's your one? Yeah. Well, if you really like what Daisy's doing, maybe we can get you one too. But do you have an Elsa one? A big one. The yeah. Elsa one. So you can use that when you're little. Maybe when after you put the pedals on, we can put the basket on, get the ice creams in there, and then we can go and cycle the sea. Does anybody want some ice cream? Yeah, we'll say ice cream delivery. Yeah. That was a good idea. Okay, I just got to Reading. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm praying this place has walk-ins because I've never been to this nail place before. But I always walk past it in the shopping centre and it looks like you can just walk in and go. So, fingers crossed, I can get them done. Um, I'm gonna be super quick because my eyebrow appointment is in an hour and a half so hopefully I can get in there and get them done quick and then pop to get my eyebrows done. Well that was not very successful at all. <laughs> I went to the place I was hoping to go and they said that they do do walk-ins but then I don't know I was so confused they said that they do do walk-ins and that they had a slot but then oh, I don't know I couldn't go in <laughs> basically. I ended up getting some like stick on <laughs> stick on nails from boots i'm just not gonna have time next week to do it because um daisy's got her sports day and stuff and i can't do it over the weekend because we've got stuff planned so i don't think i'm gonna have time to do it so the stick ons are gonna have to do i'm not sure what they're gonna be like but my friend lucy uses them quite a lot and she quite likes them so i guess we'll see but two minutes before i'm meant to go in so i just quickly wanted to show you my eyebrows so that we can do a little before and after not dreadful but they just need a little bit of a sort out i get them laminated so that they kind of um have more of a shape and then i don't have to do anything with them when i first get them done for the first two days they are so dark and so thick and then once you can wash your face and wash them they become much more natural so if i come back and you're like oh my jesus that's why daisy gets home in about half an hour so i'm gonna pop home get the pedals on her new bike and then we can pop out this afternoon and then i'll tell you more about the photo shoot 
later on once they're in bed but I am very excited and it's for something that I've been working on for ages but I'm about to leave the car park so I'll put this camera down and I'll chat to you when we get home. I got this coffee earlier and uh, <laughs> I have left it in the car and it's so hot outside that it's still warm. Is it gross to drink it an hour after buying it? Or do I do it? You say that you're from out of town. I'm hoping that you stick around. Me and Days have popped out with her brand new bike. She's got her helmet on and we've come to this road because it's an unused road um, with all the new developments and stuff this road is no longer in use so it's a nice long stretch and we can practice okay so push one foot down and then the other one goes down whoopsie so push the one that's high up you push down to the ground okay and then this one comes high up it's okay Push down, you got it. And the other one, you got it, you got it. Yes. So make sure you look where you're going because you've got to steer. Good job, Daze. Keep pushing. Yeah, Daze. Oh, a little push. Good job, good job. And then steer. You got it, you got it. Hey, listen, look at me, look at me, no, look at mama, it's not, it's just practice, remember when you were on your scooter and you couldn't scooter at first, could you, and now how good of a scooter are you, so good. super good, so all we need to do is just practice, okay, we don't need to get upset, we just keep going and we keep going until we get it, we've got all the time in the world, and then before you know it, you'll be the best cycler ever. Okay? So get those feet on the pedals. And push forward. Yes, you got it. Push, push. You're doing it. You're doing it. Yes, Daze. Good job. I'll give you a push start off and then pedal. Yeah. Yes. Look at you, you're racing! I got you! I got you! What are you, what are you sad about? It was scary, but you didn't hurt, did you? Did you hurt? No, I caught you. Okay, I'm always close. Okay? Do you need a cuddle? Yeah! You're doing such a good job. Yeah, should we take a break? Okay, cool. Do you want to sit on it while I wheel you home? Yeah. Okay? You're doing a great job, Daze. It's hard learning something new, but you're doing fantastic. Trying out Daisy's bike was so cute, bless her. She was really excited, but she kept on telling me she was nervous too. And she was having fun, but then she'd have moments of like real frustration, because I think she figured she would just get on and just be able to go. But I've been trying to explain to her that it's like riding a scooter, you have to learn how to do it first. So we had some good chats and we've decided that we're going to do five minutes a day just to like practice and get good at it and she's um, happy about that. Bless her. I really felt for her. It's so hard to be a kid because like they just want to do everything and sometimes it just doesn't go to plan. So yeah, we'll definitely pop out for a few minutes a day to get her confidence up but it was really really sweet and the bike is lovely thank you so much to bike club for sponsoring this video if you guys did want to find out more then i'll make sure to link them in the box below i think it's a really really good idea but i've just spent some time wrapping jess's baby presents some of them are for her and some of them are for the baby i was going to show you everything that was in these um presents but then i realized if this video goes up before this box has arrived then she might watch the video and see everything that's in here before she's even got them so i'm not i decided that i'm gonna wrap them um and not show you guys there's some cute stuff in there and then there's some like helpful stuff one of the things i literally used for hudson's 
entire first year it was like a lifesaver so I'm hoping this gets there safely I'm using an old Amazon box which isn't ideal but I'm gonna tape it make sure it's safe and I'll take that to the post office tomorrow and hopefully it gets there before the baby arrives but I don't know fingers crossed let's head to this pub garden have some yummy food and uh, the kids can have a play Hello, Mr. Farmer. No, not me, Wanda. Come with and me. Mommy, Mommy, that's this bit out. Oh. Mommy, can I not take my, come here. Yeah. Look, you can't take it, it is like that. <gasps> that must be the go button instead of a key. Yeah. Just got back home after a lovely dinner. I didn't actually eat very much, I just had a bowl of chips, but their chunky chips are delicious. But I was about to end this vlog and then I realized I didn't tell you about that photo shoot that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So, a few vlogs back, I told you guys that I'm launching my own fitness, athleisure, clothing line and next week is the photo shoot for the products. I'm aiming to launch everything at the beginning of August, the very, very beginning. It was meant to be June, but there's been some delays, but it's finally happening. We're getting all the photos done for the website next week, and then I'm gonna plan a second photo shoot for social media content, so like the stuff for the Instagram. I've been working on it for probably nine months, um, six months like designing and stuff but the conversation started about nine months ago and the fact that we're finally there and ready to go is really really exciting but the main focus that I had when I made these was because I obviously struggled with my loose skin and I found that every time I wore like gym leggings I just couldn't keep my tummy feeling supported I found it so hard to find leggings that kept everything in place like they would end at like my belly button but then all the loose skin above would just hang over and whenever I did box jumps my tummy would come out of the top of the leggings and it was just I hated it so much I couldn't find gym wear that made me feel confident so I decided to make my own and it's been such an exciting journey. The brand is called Neighbourhood. These are the leggings. The focus for me was making sure that the waistband was so thick and supportive. I wish you could feel this waistband, but it goes up pretty high to make sure everything stays in place and is comfortable and you just feel like pulled in. Obviously it's not just for people with loose skin, it's for anyone who loves going to the gym and just wants to be comfortable and just have everything feeling like nice and tight and pulled in. Um, but I also just wanted to make sure like postpartum mums and people with loose skin or people on their weight loss journey could just wear something that made them feel so good because it sucks going to the gym and just feeling so body conscious. Um, so. These are the leggings, it's got the Neighbourhood logo down here and then look, let me put on the crop top, I've only got it in the green colour at the moment, I don't have the matching set, I'll get them at the photo shoot next week so I'll show you properly but let me get the crop top on, it's in a different colour but you can see what it looks like. This is the crop top, it's like a sports bra but it comes down a little bit further so I wanted to make something that you could wear at the gym but then you could also pair with like jeans. The colour is my favourite thing ever, we've got the little logo here, you can zip it if you wanted, I like having it up. When I launch it there'll be this colour in the crop and the leggings and then there'll also be black in the crop and the leggings. I honestly love them so much, I'm so proud of it. I wish you could feel the quality of this stuff. It is so figure hugging. It keeps everything in place, like it's so good. I've been testing it at the gym for months, going back and forth on things that need to be changed and uh, it's just so, so good. I'm a bit biased, but it's so good. If I ordered this and it came in the post, I would literally never take it off. There'll also be a t-shirt on sale. 
Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you the products on because I haven't actually shown them on here yet. Um, but they should be launching at the very start of August, fingers crossed. And I will put the Instagram account in the box below. There's nothing on there yet. Um, it will probably start like the week before launch. But if you wanted to follow along so that you know when stuff launches, then that would be amazing. I'm honestly so, so proud of this project. And I can't believe this is mine. <laughs> From a tiny idea in my brain. And now we've got these leggings that are just so supportive and hopefully make people feel really really good oh my hair is looking interesting but there's going to be a stylist there a makeup artist a hair art hair stylist <laughs> just things that i just never thought would be happening and i've done like little clothing things before but nothing on this scale so i'm really really nervous for it to come out in case it flops because um, that would be a lot of money down the toilet, but regardless of what happens, I think this will be something that I'm forever proud of. So I'm excited to share it with you and let me know whether you like the look of this stuff. And yeah, thanks so much for watching this vlog. It's been a really sweet one. Thank you to Bike Club for sponsoring this video. I will of course link everything in the box below and if you have any questions on how their subscription service works then you can leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer it too. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all having a really good day and um, yeah, I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.